Hey guys, this is Tech Supreme with the Ice Cream Sandwich walkthrough for the Galaxy Note for AT&T. The update was released uh, this earlier this week and it has brought uh, much needed improvements to the Galaxy Note to make it a much richer, fluid, and better experience for the user. Um, and so I'm going to go into some of the improvements that comes along with the Ice Cream Sandwich update for the Galaxy Note. So let's take a quick look at the version that we're running on the Galaxy Note. Uh, as you can see, 4.0.4, .4, and this is the official update from AT&T. So one thing that I noticed is that it's much, um, it's a, a little more fluid than uh, gingerbread, uh, definitely. Um, things are much smoother, so you know I don't. The lag is not as noticeable as it was before. Uh, because I know, you know, a lot of some users complain that you know you can notice a little bit of choppiness, um, a little bit of slowdown, but not you know not very often. But you can notice it occasionally on the Galaxy Note. Uh, we'll pull down the notification bar. I don't know if you can tell, but we have the six uh, quick toggles: Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, airplane mode, screen rotation, and power saving mode. And you also have your quick settings button there. So quick access there. Um, oh yes, also improved multitasking. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, the um, multitasking shows you what is, the apps are running in the background and it gives you a little preview of what is uh, what is actually that you have running in each app. Um, but as you can also see, uh, some of the changes that comes along with Ice Cream Sandwich as you can see here, you can um, a quick menu at the home screens, which you can uh, access. And um, let's check out the browser. The browser is, you know, the ice cream sandwich browser, uh, faster, better than you know the browser that came with Gingerbread. And if, as you can see on your top right, um, you have you like uh, open up another window or open up multiple windows and as you can see here that's how you're able to uh, switch from uh, the different windows that you have open and then to add another another web page you can uh, press the plus sign and then you go from there and then also right next to the little card <clears throat> icon is your bookmarks so you can add your bookmark there and you know whatever you can name it whatever so and then you also have your quick access to your history and save pages um, and also on the top left you also have your refresh button so another thing we're gonna that is uh, much improved um, as you guys will notice is the YouTube app which looks uh, actually looks pretty damn good uh, with uh, ice cream sandwich and on so there you go, as you can see, how it looks like. Looks much better. And, yeah, screen rotation's on, so... Yep, kind of gives you the double row look. So, that is actually... I like the, the new user interface for YouTube. So, that is... Uh, and then you can also, like, uh, pull to the right... And it get, kind of gives you like quick options as to, you know, recommended, trending, live, you know, all that stuff. So that's a great improvement. Here you have, you know, your Google search. Better with, um, <clears throat> with Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, one thing we're going to do is check out Quadrant Standard. So what's the, I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to run the. While that's running, I guess uh, we'll go over. Um, yeah, I've been running. I've been running the official upgrade for a couple of days now, and I'm really, um, really impressed with it. I, I wasn't expecting it to be, you know, let down. So I'm really glad that Samsung was able to push out this this update, you know, at the time that it did, and it was a very noticeable improvement. Um, quadrant uh, scores are a little bit higher than what they were on um, <clears throat> on gingerbread battery life is a noticeable improvement um, I could say that um, 
it, battery life has improved me by 10, 15 percent. Um, it also depends on what you guys, you know, do every day with your Galaxy you Note know, or whatever Android phone that you have. So that is definitely a factor. And also the Gmail app looks, you know, as you guys know, Gmail looks uh, has an improved interface as well and it looks much better with 4.0 and higher. So here we have, well, as you guys know, um, the Galaxy Note is running with the S3 um, chip. So I don't know, you can't really see it, but the score is 3493. Before I was getting maybe 2,900, 2,800, you know, in that range, um, hitting 3,000 very few times, so it's a noticeable improvement. Um, as I said before, the lag, um, kind of like with the improvement, it's a little more fluid, things are a little more faster, and you guys will, you guys will definitely notice that. Oh, and also, um, I don't know if you can really see, but at the top there's the percentage there so now you guys don't have to download a third party app for for a battery percentage and that's a uh, pretty cool so in, to, in order to access that I think it's in a no it's not in battery but um display you go to display and you go down to display battery percentage so you can uh we check that off so it's not there anymore but I'm gonna press it and there we go so that is, I, I really like that, that that was included with the update. What I was disappointed in was that with the S2 for AT&T, um, that option wasn't included, you know, um, wasn't included in the update. So they, Samsung decided to leave that out. But with the Skyrocket and the Galaxy Note, the battery percentage option is there. So no more having to download third-party apps. And yeah, I thought that was pretty, you know, pretty cool. Because before, you know, when you bought your Android phone, you always had to download <clears throat> another another app um so last thing we're gonna check out um hold on we're gonna check out messaging so here you go um this is the you know ice cream sandwich keyboard um definitely the, uh definitely the keyboard is much better than gingerbread and I never really had any problems with it, so you guys will notice the difference. You know, it's a little improvement, so you guys will definitely notice <clears throat> the improved functionality of the keyboard. And it's, you know, faster and fluid, so it'll be it's good all around for everybody. Um, also, what came with the Galaxy Note was the S Note app. So, pretty much what you can do is that you could pretty much write um so like let's say you want to do a recipe thing and um hold on let me see if i can get the the pen out the s pen so this app is for other you know you could use it for other galaxy note users you can write postcards whatever and as you can see you know squiggle whatever you have your options up here, you know, you can erase that. Um, well, let's see this. Oh, so. Tech. So, that's definitely a nice app to include. So, this is the premium suite package that came along with, um, with the Galaxy Note, along with the Ice Cream Sandwich update. Um, so that is pretty, well, we could check, also, hold on, the dialer, um, things are a little bit different, I mean, not different, but they still look the same, you have your keypad, your call log, favorites, and contacts, so, that is, uh, that's what the dialer looks like, so, let me see if there's anything else, guys, to go over, but, um, that's pretty much it, uh, oh, I can show you the, Okay, the Gmail app, so this is, you know, how it looks like a little bit. Um, compose email. And then, hold on. So yeah, this is, I don't know if you could see it. No, not really. Yeah, but you, there you go. You can um, 
see how you know your inbox looks like click on that and then you know decide what to do with it at the bottom you know so that's pretty much the ice cream sandwich upgrade for the galaxy note guys i hope you uh enjoy this review and if you have the galaxy note and haven't upgraded i suggest that you guys do because it is a nice upgrade and you guys would uh you guys would know it brings a lot of noticeable differences uh to the table for the galaxy note so Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and if you have any comments, uh, you can leave it down below. And until next time, guys, this is Tech Supreme.